Hey, happy Thursday, my friends. I just uh, left a networking meeting, um, Hillsboro Leads Group in Hillsboro, North Carolina. And uh, we had a guest speaker today who was uh, Diana Needham. Diana Needham is, uh, is a marketing coach and advisor. She's also a author and she helps get uh, people lined up with uh, in preparation for writing a book so if you know someone who is in uh, in that position and looking to write a book or uh, or maybe you've been thinking about writing a book you've got something that, uh, dynamic that you want to write about and you think people would pay to, to read then um, then you should look Diana Needham up uh, definitely but uh, today she spoke on uh, on LinkedIn she's also a, a LinkedIn um, advocate and uh, I use the word professional um, in the in the sense that she helps teach people how to use LinkedIn uh, more effectively to market their their business um, stand by just a second here and let this ambulance pass there we go um, so she uses uh, LinkedIn to help help people market their business more effectively and she said something today, two or three key things that, that, uh, that we should pay attention to. And, uh, and that is, number one, make sure your profile picture on LinkedIn is up to date or rel relatively up to date. Uh, you don't want uh, people clicking on a LinkedIn profile uh, picture and saying, who is that? I don't know who that is or uh, that picture is old or hey I remember that from 20 years ago when they were in college or high school um, make sure your profile picture is up to date I, I think it goes without saying that you be sure you have a profile picture uh, so that's first and foremost um, because um, I actually am very reluctant and probably do not connect with anyone if they do not have a, uh, a profile picture uh, secondly, uh, right under the picture is a little block called the summary. Be sure that you understand the people on LinkedIn are professionals and they're there to network and they're there because they want what you have and they want you to help them in their business. Um, so LinkedIn, your LinkedIn profile, uh, if you're looking for a job, sure, it's your resume. But uh, for the vast majority of the 300 million plus people on LinkedIn uh, it is not the resume but rather it is their source a source of help so be sure your summary tells about a problem that you can solve in your business and uh, and, and and let that summary uh, end with a way that you can solve their problems how can you help people solve problems that's what your summary should be about and, uh, and be sure under that third and last tip here is uh, be sure you have at least 500 connections. If you have 500 LinkedIn connections, then you look like everyone else because 500 is the only number, the maximum number LinkedIn will show, 500 plus. So whether you've got 501 connections on LinkedIn or whether you've got 3,000 connections on LinkedIn, doesn't matter as far as that number is concerned. It will only show 500. So get to 500 connections on LinkedIn. After that, become very strategic with the people that you pick and choose to connect with. And, uh, and those are the three tips she focused on today at our Hillsboro Leads Group, and that being Diana Needham. Um, very valuable source of information. I suggest that you reach out and you try to find her and connect with her, Diana Needham. Well, friends, that's it for today. I hope you have a great day. I'm off to, uh, off to another networking meeting at uh, Business Network International, Bull City Business Leaders here in Durham. I hope you have a fantastic day and thanks for tuning in.